happened to you, Damon? You used to be so sweet and polite. Oh, that Damon died a long time ago. Good. He was a bore. Can I help you? I'm bored. I'll have one of those. Right away, Miss Catherine. Thank you. What she's saying. Hello. A... I've been honest with you. Time to return the favor. Let me be honest with you. Don't mistake the fact that we've been set you on fire in your sleep for trust. You know this whole friendly, cooperative thing? Mm-hmm. I don't buy it. I have no reason to lie to you, Damon. Why? Except that people found out that I wasn't in the tomb. Thanks to you, by the way. Have I mentioned how inconvenient your obsession with me has been? Hmm. You and me both, honey. <clears throat> My advice? Hmm. If you want to make an omelet, you have to break a few legs. Jeremy, I just want you to know, it's nothing personal. What? What? What do you mean, what? I've been calling you for two days. Odd. That's exactly how long I've been ignoring you. Why are we stopping? I thought you might want to stretch your legs. Take a break from the sexual tension. God, you're hot. When did you get so hot? <clears throat> Are you hungry? Let's stop for a bite. A truck stop. A trucker. Oh, well, stop being cute. It's not possible. How much fun that will be competing with Elena for Stefan's love for, I don't know, forever. What if I told you there was a way to kill Klaus? And not dagger dead. Dead dead. I'd say you were desperate and lying. Or drunk. Or desperate, lying, drunk. Sorry about your pet wolf. Probably should have kept him on a tighter leash. I'll have to remember that for next time. I still had you first.